I never truly understood the allure of the woods until that fateful night. The dense foliage, the towering trees, and the eerie silence always held a mysterious charm, drawing me in with an inexplicable pull. Little did I know that my curiosity would lead me down a path of terror and despair. It started innocently enough. A group of friends and I decided to go on a camping trip deep into the heart of the forest. The prospect of spending a weekend surrounded by nature sounded like the perfect escape from the stresses of everyday life. We packed our bags, loaded up the car, and set off, oblivious to the horrors that awaited us. As we ventured deeper into the woods, the trees seemed to close in around us, casting ominous shadows that danced in the flickering light of our campfire. Despite the unease creeping into my bones, I brushed it off as nothing more than nerves. After all, what could possibly harm us in the safety of our campsite? That night, as we sat around the fire, swapping stories and laughter, a chill wind swept through the trees, extinguishing the flames in an instant. A shroud of darkness enveloped us, plunging the forest into an impenetrable blackness. Panic seized my chest as the realization dawned on me that something was terribly wrong. In the darkness, I could hear it, a faint whispering, like the rustling of leaves or the gentle breeze through the branches. But there was something unnatural about it, something sinister that sent shivers down my spine. My friends exchanged nervous glances, their faces pale in the moonlight. We should get out of here, one of them whispered, his voice trembling with fear. But before we could move, a blood-curdling scream echoed through the night, piercing the silence like a knife. We froze, our hearts pounding in our chests as the sound reverberated through the trees. With trembling hands, we fumbled for our flashlights, desperate to find the source of the scream. But as the light pierced the darkness, we saw nothing, only the swaying branches and the endless expanse of trees stretching out before us. Terrified, we huddled together, hoping that whatever lurked in the darkness would pass us by. But the whispers grew louder, more insistent, as if they were beckoning us deeper into the forest. And despite our fear, a morbid curiosity compelled us to follow. We stumbled through the underbrush, our hearts pounding in our chests, as the whispers guided us further and further into the heart of the woods. Branches clawed at our skin, roots tripped us up, but still we pressed on, driven by an unseen force that seemed to pull us inexorably forward. And then we saw it, a clearing in the trees, bathed in an otherworldly light that seemed to emanate from the very ground itself. In the center of the clearing stood a gnarled old tree, its branches twisted and contorted like the fingers of a corpse. As we approached, the whispers grew louder, swirling around us like a maelstrom of sound. And then, from the shadows of the tree emerged a figure, a woman, her face obscured by a tangle of dark hair, her eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. Without a word, she beckoned us closer, her voice a melodic whisper that sent shivers down my spine. And despite every instinct screaming at me to run, I found myself stepping forward, drawn to her like a moth to a flame. As we drew closer, I could see that the tree was not just a tree. It was alive, pulsing with a dark energy that seemed to emanate from the very earth itself. And in its branches, I saw them, the souls of the lost trapped for eternity in a twisted purgatory of the forest's making. I tried to scream, to run, but it was too late. The woman's grip tightened around me, pulling me into the embrace of the tree as the whispers grew louder drowning out all thought and reason. And then, darkness enveloped me, swallowing me whole as the forest claimed me as its own. They say that those who venture too deep into the woods are never seen again. And as I sit here now, trapped in this twisted nightmare of a forest, I can only pray that someone will find this journal and know the truth of what lies within the whispering woods.